An Australian company has developed some technology that could make its owners very, very rich, but also put them at the centre of international controversy. Sydney-based Silex Systems is waiting on US approval to put its new laser technology into American nuclear reactors. Some experts are excited about what it could mean for enriching uranium, but others fear the developments will make it easier for governments to build nuclear weapons. Greg Hoy reports. Publicly listed on the Australian Stock Exchange, Silex Systems' biggest asset is top secret. Laser power, or rather how to use high-powered lasers to enrich uranium. It's like a holy grail to achieve laser enrichment, and this can be tuned very effectively to create a very efficient enrichment process, much more efficient than today's gas centrifuge technology. Anything you can tell us about the differences there? Uh, not really, I'd have to shoot you afterwards, but uh, essentially it's well, a classified technology, and that's to stop it falling into the wrong hands. Silex physicists and shareholders Dr Michael Goldsworthy and Dr Horst Strube developed their company's laser enrichment technology in secured confines of the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation's Lucas Heights facility. Permission to film even the exterior of their building was refused. The now chief executive, Dr Goldsworthy, would only be interviewed at the distant solar panel manufacturing plant Silex has since purchased in Sydney's Olympic Park. But even here, security is tight for obvious reasons. As the inventors, how seriously do you have to take your personal security? We have constant security training. Silex laser technology has been highly classified in a bilateral agreement between the US and Australian governments. But in Washington, the American Physicist Society has petitioned the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission demanding a transparent public review of any assessment of technology such as Silex's which might speed the spread of nuclear weapons. What we are concerned about is next generation enrichment technologies that are smaller, more energy efficient and easier to conceal and those do present greater proliferation risks and we're not the only ones to say so. The Department of Energy has said so. The State Department has said so. But the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission is in advanced stages of deciding if global nuclear giant General Electric, who describes Silex science as a game changer, should be given the green light to build a billion dollar laser enrichment complex to supply 60 nuclear power plants from GE Hitachi's nuclear fuel facility in Wilmington, North Carolina. We're reasonably confident, quite confident, that um, the US NRC will approve uh, the uh, commercial plant uh, licence. It will facilitate proliferation of nuclear reactors. And a nuclear reactor has two purposes. One is to generate power, the other is to make nuclear weapons. We haven't yet had any thorough, rigorous, publicly available, open process to really consider what are the broader security and proliferation dimensions of, of this technology before it's essentially out of the bag. It's really catastrophic. This is a catastrophic technology and every Australian has the right to know what is being done in their name. What really riles the critics is meantime Australia preaches the virtue of nuclear non-proliferation on the world stage. The one key objective which unites us all is our hope for a world free of nuclear weapons. We're terribly concerned about nuclear non-proliferation. The fact is that Australia, unfortunately, has a double standard here. A small laser enrichment plant is still a very large plant. It's uh, the most heavily guarded, uh, secured technology, one of the most secured technologies on the planet, and it will remain that way uh, forevermore. There is no nuclear technology which it's been possible to keep under wraps. You can classify it for a short period of time. They classified nuclear weapons initially after the end of the Second World War and were sure that no one would get them. 
Indeed, in the first 50 years after that first secret weapon was dropped on Hiroshima, this haunting Japanese video documents the 2053 nuclear weapons tests that followed around the world. But the Australian government is backing the Silex claim that its secret can be safeguarded forever, suggesting the Silex process is technically complex and manufacturing Silex equipment and components would require very specialised industrial and scientific capabilities, limited to a few countries. In another strange twist to this tale, the Lucas Heights nuclear facility used to be known as the Atomic Energy Commission. And it was here way back in the 1970s that the Silex scientist Dr Horst Struve was central to government-funded research on laser enrichment of uranium. The government shut that program down. And it was then that the company called Silex moved into the same building that the government research had been conducted in. Today, Dr Horst Struve and his colleague and company stand to make a great deal of money from laser enrichment research. The royalty revenue could be substantial for Silex. The agreement we have with General Electric allows for uh, a royalty of a minimum of 7% and up to 12% of the revenues from the use of our technology. So that could be quite a lucrative royalty stream. And that's just from the first plant. Well, hopefully it's, it's the number one choice for uranium enrichment into the future. To some, it's a golden opportunity to promote and profit from so-called low-carbon power. To others, it's a nightmare in the making. The fallout from Fukushima, etc., still simmering after six months. There are areas in those six provinces of north, northern Honshu that will be uninhabitable virtually forever. Fukushima's reactor was designed by General Electric, the company now licensed to develop and safeguard Silex technology, which raises another key concern for critics. General Electric makes good things for life, Greg. It makes stoves, washing machines, irons, nuclear weapons, nuclear reactors and missiles. And there's no way that this technology can be used for nuclear weapons development? Well, under the agreement between the Australian and the US government, our technology is prohibited uh, for use in anything but civ the civilian nuclear fuel cycle. Keeping Silex's secret. Ethical questions should have been asked at every level, from the individuals involved to the companies involved, from the government um, that oversaw and owned those facilities accountable to the public and ultimately the public. Well, the protesters say that this should be a conscience issue for you. I have no problems with what we're doing. Um, I know how difficult it is to achieve. I know the security measures that are in place to protect the technology. And I can assure you, nuclear power is here to stay.